Hey, just wanted to give you a little like update where we were at on ours and point out a few things that might be useful. Um, we started at one end and did the long seam along one side and worked our way here. And I wanted to show you, we actually ended up with just a little bit of excess. They were exactly the same length. Well, I think we laid them out on the floor, but since the material is stretchy, it's kind of hard to. So what we did is because we had the excess on this end, we, when we went to go do the other long side, we also started on that end and worked our way down so that we have the excess and it ended up kind of being about the same. So that way it's not like skewed. If we would have started on this end on the other side and worked the other way, then the whole thing would have been kind of like weird. But anyways, um, so that's, this is possible because the blue on ours is a 0.25 and this is a 0.4 on the, for the purple. So it could be just that since we had a thinner material, it did that. Um, so the next step is that this, this will be our, well, probably our bottom, um, bottom pipe kind of going along this way. So we have one more seam to do. And then um, the next step is I've cut out this little neck gasket and it's one and three quarters wide. So 1.75 inches wide. And then I did 14 and a half inches in circumference which gives you a half inch overlap. And then, so it's 14 inches. And I, I did some testing a while back and that seemed to be about right. Um, it's, it's tight. Like my neck is 17 inches, but the 14, um, gives it a nice snug fit. Cause this, this is basically forming an airtight seal. And so the next step is that I will, um, I'll locate a hole that's going to be, um, towards the top. You can look at the, the, the vac bed we gave you kind of for reference. The only thing you want to kind of make sure is that when the person's head sticks out, is their height going to fit? You know, um, I think we'll have to look at your order and see what the person's height is. We, we asked both people, but uh, if you don't, if you put the, the head, uh, not high enough, then you don't give them the clearance for their, for their legs. But of course, if you put it too high, you know, they're, you don't want their head like hitting the top pipe. So the idea is to kind of put them as far as they can comfortably towards the top pipe. Um, and then down at this end, there of course is going to be another little gasket, but it's only going to be big enough for the pipe to fit through on the quarter. And I, I kind of do that as the very last step. Um, so the other thing I was going to point out too is as you're doing these seams, Katie did this one last night and she was telling me that she had a couple spots where she had wrinkles and I was going to kind of point that out because they're fixable. So don't freak out if you get some wrinkles. What, what we end up doing, let's see, let's see if I can find some. What I'll end up doing is if there is a wrinkle, I'll take some uh, heptane and I'll, I'll put it on like a real small screwdriver like this. And then I'll basically kind of little by little add a little more heptane, add a little more heptane and then kind of work my screwdriver up under into the wrinkle and then keep adding heptane and kind of move it to where I can release the seam and then I can kind of relay it down um, and kind of smash it. And as long as you kind of open it back up about an inch or so, then you can kind of have room to kind of um, stretch the material and get rid of the wrinkle. Um, so that's, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.